My name's Mr Holderness, I'm the coordinator of Pathways College. Pathways College is a sixth form provision for uh, 16 year olds with additional needs based at the Hewitt School site in Norwich. We offer uh, one year placement at the college uh, for two main objectives. The first one being to improve the students' independence skills and the second objective is to make their transition into college successful. The provision at Pathways College is for five days a week for one year only. The college day starts at nine o'clock and ends at 3.15. We identify targets for each student to become more independent um, and we practice those targets throughout the year. We also have links with the colleges that allow those pupils to become familiar with the, the buildings, the people, the places and the courses to allow the transition into college to be smooth and successful. On a Wednesday morning we go to City College and um, what we do is we go around the site and learning about different parts of the areas at City College and some of us go on different groups to go around to the library and we um, cook some meals at lunchtime. With Pathways, we designed a bespoke programme because we had a couple of students who were really keen on hospitality and they really wanted to keep cooking and very luckily the kitchen was free at the time when they were able to come. We managed to design a programme which would mean that the group would be cooking each week, cooking their own lunch, whilst small groups would branch off and find out more about college. It's really, really good for getting them to used to it. Some of the students are really, really nervous about coming up to college and so this just means that they're here as part of their Pathways College, but they're here in City College and they're just getting used to being here. They're getting used to feeling that although college is huge, you don't need to know the entire place. You just need to know what you need to know. The curriculum we offer at Pathways is based on the ASDAN Towards Independence uh, set of units. We tend to concentrate on independent living and out in the community to start with. We identify those as being crucial for all of our students to master before they move on to others that are more bespoke for them. We offer numeracy, literacy, ICT, citizenship. We, um, we have a range of recreational activities that are appropriate for a college setting. Um, pupils are encouraged to make good choices here, um, not being necessarily led by adults, but making those choices by themselves. We concentrate on um, core skills. Uh, in the context of maths, we uh, take advice from the school from which the students come. Um, in terms of their levels, what they're um, already um, good at and what they need to work on. So we'll set them targets in those areas. Um, in terms of maths, we, um, we make sure that they can recognise all coin values. We encourage them to be able to calculate simple change. We ask them to use the calculator function on a mobile phone, a very functional form of maths. So if they're in a shop, if there is, is no adult to help them there, they could in theory be able to use their mobile phone, which hopefully is in their pocket, to actually work out how much maybe two or three items may be added together. I'm Miss Sanderson and I come over from Parkside to teach swimming on a Monday morning. It's very important, it's a life skill. Um, we're surrounded by rivers and we've got the sea and all that sort of thing locally, so really it's a skill that's very important and very good for the health. We're very lucky because the pool has a shallow end and a deep end. We have use of it solely for our own pupils, so it means that they, they get a lot of time, well it's a whole hour which is really good because you normally only get half an hour, so an hour of swimming is a good length of time to have a warm up, a lesson, and then a little bit of time at the end where they can do different things. And um, we've got lots of equipment we can use which is accessible to us also. On a Friday afternoon, we have the Parkside music teacher coming to the college who does singing um, and music with the, the students. I'm Helen Holderness and uh, I work at Parkside most of the time, but I have a, a very special treat on a Friday afternoon um, when I come over to Pathways and I do some music with the students here. They really get a lot out of it. We all really, really enjoy it. We've uh, built up a bank of songs over the last few weeks, um, made up of their favourites. Um, so we have a sort of song choice time. I think it's a lovely way of rounding off the week, you know, when they've been out and about doing various things. They come back to college at the end and we all sit around a table and, uh, and just really enjoy ourselves and have fun. 
for each individual we identify um, what it is that they have become dependent upon previously we try and break down those ties very gradually to allow that person to find ways to cope with new situations by themselves without resorting necessarily to adults around them. So we call that their toolbox. We give them different methods to uh, approach a situation. For example, it could be as simple as something as tying their shoelaces. It could be learning how to deal with strangers in, 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 in a cafe, in a restaurant, in a bus a station, something like that. If, they haven't, if they're unfamiliar with that, it's about how we deal with those issues. And on Fridays, the students cook their own hot meal for everybody else. They take it in turns on a rotor basis to cook a meal for everybody else. So the ingredients that are required need to be purchased. So they make shopping lists on a Friday morning. And on a Monday morning, we use our minibus to go to local supermarkets to buy the provisions for the week. They're encouraged to use money themselves, to do the communication themselves. Each of the students is given their own tasks to do in the shop that they can practice throughout the year. Lizzie, you like cheese sauce, don't you? We encourage healthy eating at Pathways College. So we encourage them to have a very balanced diet here as well. Pathways College, from having seen them from the start, beginning, they have all grown and blossomed. Their independent skills have come on so much more since leaving school. Uh, it's, it is just like a little, a mini college. And um, the environment is friendly and relaxed and everybody that's been and visited has just said how wonderful it is and you just feel you just feel welcome and it's a really nice place to come and visit and the children are all really relaxed and grown up and independent it's great oh pathways has just gone from strength to strength um, you know, I've watched as an objective um, observer the progress that the students have made, you know, because I knew most of them when they first arrived back in September. And the progress that they've made over the last few months has been phenomenal. You know, they've all grown and matured into responsible and independent adults. Well, I'm very proud of what the students have achieved at Pathways College. It's a great privilege to see them develop into young adults um, and to acknowledge that each student is able to achieve so much more than I think they thought they could at the start of the year. To be able to see that in operation is absolutely fantastic and um, we, we, I feel very privileged to work at Pathways College.